I'm gonna give you some titles of articles and you're gonna tell me real deal or fake news. You ready to rock? All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right, here's Nervous. the very first one. All right, border patrol agents accused of patrolling border. Is that real deal or fake news? Heather. <laughs> it's wow. hard to tell, isn't it? Accused of patrolling border? <laughs> yeah, border patrol agents accused of patrolling border. I don't know. It sounds like something like Washington Post would, would do. So I'm going to say real deal. Real deal? Real deal. Real deal. Everyone's going real deal? Unless or it's it like a Babylon, uh, Bee. Babylon Bee. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> but it, but, let's but it's so real. <laughs> All right, everybody's going real. Let's check and see if they're correct. It is actually a... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Babylon B. So right, your second right. choice was correct. I love Babylon B. We need to protect them at all costs. They oh, are right. the best. <laughs> they give the best speeches. They make oh, the yeah. whole crowd laugh. I love going to conferences when oh, they talk. It, it's so good. It's so funny, especially was, with the way Border Patrol has just been vilified oh, yeah. throughout this whole time. We mm -hmm. covered the border mm -hmm. all last week, and I think we need some humor. Mm -hmm. yes. Just like we talked about, talk about it. You, it, the left gives you so much content. <laughs> so like, just left. use it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At least have some sort of laughter with it. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys are 0 for 1. Okay. Let's see how you Ugh. do here. All right. Real deal or fake news? Boston's famous skinny house sells for a nice fat price. So, skinny house sells for a fat that price. That was witty. <laughs> I'm saying real. You're going real? I don't know what a skinny house is. <laughs> I'm from Massachusetts, and I don't know what a skinny house is. <laughs> I just like the wit, and I think it's real. Okay. Let's just say it wouldn't make it on MTV Cribs. <laughs> okay. Let's do oh. um, real. Real deal. You going real deal? Uh, I'm going to say fake news. You going fake? Yeah. You guys are going real? You're real. going fake? All right. <laughs> Let's see who's correct. It is actually a mm. real mm. article from the AP. So oh, a 10-foot wide home sold for $1.25 million according to Zillow. Wait, so what is a skinny damn. house? It's just a I big think it's just thin house. But yeah. I lived in Boston for nine months, mm -hmm. hated it, and moved out. I literally canceled my lease early so that I could leave. But it, it was a nice town to visit. But Very that historical. Was, that was from Huffington Post. Sometimes we get those mm -hmm. mixed up. Huffington Post, Babylon Bee. Yeah. You're not really sure mm -hmm. anymore the when there. you get those. But let's see how you do with this next one. All right, real deal or fake news? COVID approval rating skyrockets after briefly interrupting the view. Babylon B. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna that's gotta be that's gotta be a Babylon B, but it, it's very true, but yeah, it's fake news. You going fake news? Fake news. Yeah, I'm going fake with that one. Alright, everyone's going fake, let's see how they're doing. It is fake. <laughs> yeah, Babylon <laughs> B. That's how I read the Babylon B all the time. <laughs> where I'm like, that sounds familiar. <laughs> that's a part of my nightly routine too. Oh, at, the, at the end of the day, you know, whether it's been a, a long day or not. I need to look at the Babylon Bee. Anything we can do to shut those clucking hens up, I'm all for it. That's the only, that's the only good thing about the COVID so far is I got the view to shut up. <laughs> but did you watch uh, that or like any videos from the view about oh the debacle last week? I'm one of those where I don't, you know, I don't watch the view at all. No. <laughs> like, good for you. I make news. I don't watch the fake news. <laughs> well, it was crazy. So. We were talking about it last week. How like this is live. Too. Yeah. So. You have a situation like that where you have a producer and you got your whole production team come mm -hmm. out and say, hey, you two, you need to stand up and you need to go. And you have Joy Behar that has no idea what's going on, which actually makes it very fun. So it's like, hey, how are they going to figure this out? And then they're asking questions mm -hmm. with the audience. And it was just awkward because yeah. they had Vice President Kamala Harris in town. And once again, too, Joy Behar couldn't stop coughing in her mic. And I just cringe because I know producer Kylie's back there. Yeah. <laughs> she would not be happy about that at all. But let's check out the next real deal or fake news. All right, next real deal or fake news. Camilla Cabello, Lady Gaga, Leonardo DiCaprio, and more call on entertainment execs to demand Congress pass climate change legislation. Is that real deal or fake news? It's super real. Yeah. That's a real deal. Oh, Super yeah. real. As soon as I saw those Hollywood names. <laughs> Does the article mention how much they fly on private jets by any chance? I don't ah, think so. I would so. love to see those I don't numbers. think they dove into Their that. Their carbon footprint. <laughs> yeah, no. That, that might be the follow-up. Yeah. Let's check and see how they did. So that is actually a real <laughs> article. <laughs> this is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.